Throttle position sensor testing. Connect the ground lead to the negative cable. I will use the back probe pin to back probe the red and black wire for the throttle positioning sensor. On this vehicle, it's easier to unplug the throttle positioning sensor to back probe the red and black wire and then plug the connector back into the throttle positioning sensor. Next, I will set up the U scope and operate the throttle. So let's go ahead and measure the TPS. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over to my menu. And this time when I go over to my presets, I'm going to use one of the presets that's already configured inside the U-Scope. And that's going to be under sensors. So if we continue to scroll through this, we're going to find a TPS with 5 volt reference. I'm going to go ahead and press OK to hold that down. That's going to go ahead and load that reference file. And now I'm going to hook up to the car and turn the key on and operate that TPS. And for right now, I'm going to leave that reference file on. So let's come over here and operate this throttle. So let's go full throttle, closed, and do this several times. It's going to go fully across the screen and then it's going to stop because we are on a single trigger right in here. Now, if I want to take a closer look at that, I simply navigate over to my time and I'm going to reduce that time. And you'll notice that the reference file also gets reduced in time, so we can do a close comparison. And if I want to scroll through that, and I want to lower that time, but I want to really scroll through each one of these cycles, I'm just going to go ahead and navigate over to my position. Hit OK once till it's flashing. And now I can scroll through each one of these patterns for my comparison. And if I want to get back to the middle position, because this minus 50 up here, that's showing the position we're at, just press and hold the OK button for a second. And then we're going to go ahead and change that time back to what it was at. Now one of the things I do like to do when I do my captures is I do like to have it at a smaller time, so somewhere around 200 milliseconds. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn this reference file off so it's not going to be in my way. Let's come on down to my presets. Let's come on down to my show reference. Turn that off. So I actually like to capture this at the smaller time right over here. And so I have a preset that has it at 200 milliseconds, but everything else is pretty much the same. So in order to go ahead and put this in the set mode to be able to do this one more time, let's go over to your trigger here and let's change that to normal and then change that back to single. And now let's go ahead and operate that throttle a couple of times. This time I'm only going to get probably two on the screen. So I did operate it three times, but I think what we're going to find out is we only got two on the screen. And this is something I like because it automatically gives me that closer look. But you can do it either way with either more or less time on it.